Uh, now that we've done the blanket drag um, as an evacuation carry, let's talk about the swing cradle carry. And remember, this is um, what you would use, the technique you would use in a fire emergency if your patient is non-ambulatory and you have some help. Now, that help can be a visitor at the bedside. It could be somebody you grab from the hallway. Um, as long as you're able to talk them through the different steps of the technique. So when you validate for this skill, you will be actually using one of your classmates as your partner and you have to actually verbalize the different steps. They're not allowed to make a move and you t until you tell them what to do. That way your instructor will know that you know what you're doing. So let's pretend um, in this instance, uh, we have sparks coming out of the electrical outlet. So I'll, I'll pretend like I'm already in the room, making some small talk and all of a sudden, oh my goodness, did you see that spark? We have got to get out of here. Can you come over here and help me? You're going to lower the side rail, take the covers off the bed, you're going to go ahead and swing them around just like you did for the blanket drag. You're going to tell your partner, have a seat right there beside the patient please. Then you're going to have a seat right beside the patient. You're going to take the patient's arm and put it over your neck. So you take the patient's arm and put it over your neck. Alright, then we are going to lock forearms behind the patient and we're going to lock forearms underneath the patient's knees. I know you can't see that, but you know how to lock your forearms and you know where underneath the patient's knees would be. Get you a broad base of support and then talk to your partner and say, hey, we're going to stand up on three, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> we're going to walk out of the room. All right, and then it's very important when you're putting the patient down that you do this at the same time so you don't get off balance and the patient doesn't fall. So tell your partner we're going to go down on three and the knee closest to your patient is going to go to the floor, okay? One, two, three. Put your patient down. And the last step, uh-oh, little arm, is to tell your patient everything's going to be okay, okay? And then you can proceed with the next steps of your fire emergency. So for this validation, you're not going to have to go through the steps of using the fire extinguisher and all of that. Just want to make sure that you know how to do both of the evacuation carries. So as always, if you have any question about this evacuation technique, I'm sure your instructor will be happy to answer it for you. Thank you.